Let's play a game, Spiky. In this game, you will have to do whatever I say. Yay! I'm ready. Set. That was easy, Mrs. Coco. Great. Now, can you try to keep your eyes open for a minute without blinking? Mrs. Coco, this is too hard. I can't keep them open for that long. How oh, spiky you blinked. Okay, your next task is to run. Let's see if you can run across this room. Great! Come here. Let's check your heart rate. It's 90 beats per minute. Can you make your heart beat 120 times in a minute? It seems like my heart is not in my control. It's okay. Lastly, can you please hold that hot cup of coffee? Ouch! It's too hot! Oh, don't be sad, Spiky. Well played. Not really. I was not able to make my heart beat 120 times in a minute. I couldn't resist blinking and I couldn't hold the hot cup of coffee. It's okay, Spiky. You cannot control every action. The actions that you were consciously or knowingly able to do were under your control. These are called voluntary actions, such as sitting and running. In voluntary actions, the stimulus is carried directly to the brain or spinal cord through receptors. The brain processes the information and sends motor impulses to the specific effectors for their relevant controlled response. However, the actions that we unconsciously do and have no control over are involuntary actions. For example, the beating of our heart and the blinking of our eyes. We can't control these actions with our intentions. They are controlled by specific parts of the central nervous system, which includes the medulla oblongata, hypothalamus, and spinal cord. What about dropping the hot cup of coffee? That was also an example of an involuntary action. But it's known as a reflex. What is a reflex action? A reflex action is an involuntary and rapid response to a stimulus. This happens in order to minimize the damage to the body from potentially harmful conditions. For example, moving your hand away instantly from a hot object. A reflex action follows this general sequence and does not involve the conscious part of the brain. This is why the response is so fast. The receptors in the body detect a stimulus. A sensory neuron sends electrical impulses to an interneuron, which is located in the spinal cord of the central nervous system. Interneurons connect sensory neurons to motor neurons. A motor neuron sends electrical impulses to an effector. The effector produces a response. For example, when you held the hot cup of coffee, a stimulus was detected by your sensory receptors. The sensory neurons send impulses to an interneuron. The interneuron connects the sensory neurons to the motor neurons. The motor neuron sends an impulse to an effector and you drop the hot cup of coffee as a response. This pathway of transmission of impulse is called a reflex arc. All reflex actions are involuntary? Yes, all reflex actions are involuntary, but not all involuntary actions are reflex actions. Involuntary actions involve the unconscious part of the brain that carries out those actions. But the reflex actions pathway is directly through the spinal cord and does not involve any part of the brain. That's why reflex actions are quick. Yes, also reflex actions are in response to sudden situations. 
whereas other involuntary actions are regular as they fulfill critical life processes. You can live if you hold a hot cup of coffee, but you can't live if your heart is not beating. To summarize, the actions that we consciously do are called voluntary actions, such as sitting, running, and walking. The actions that we unconsciously do are called involuntary actions. They are regular and can be slow like the beating of our heart. However, the immediate reaction that we unconsciously carry out are called reflex actions, such as moving our hand away from a hot object. All reflex actions are involuntary, but not all involuntary actions are reflex actions. 